do let us know where we can find the best chapat eh, best yeah, biryani. Yeah, we should go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you see, he jinxed it. You jinxed it. <laughs> Don't block me! What should we eat? <laughs> don't block me, don't block me! <laughs> Hi everybody! Today we are situated now at Little India in between Little India MRT and Rocho MRT. Yeah, so guess what we're gonna eat today? Uh, Little India, Indian food. Yes, Indian food. But we're not gonna eat prata. Then yeah, what are we eating? We're gonna Biryani. eat chapati and biryani. Chapati? Yeah. What is chapati? Japati is a, can I say cousin? Maybe I should say cousin. Prata's cousin or sibling. So we are going to eat Japati and mm. it is this restaurant that we are going. Some of you might know it's called Asmi Restaurant. It's said to be one of the best Japati in Singapore. Is it? I have no idea because best is very best subjective. Is a very big word, eh? Yeah, best is a very oh, big word. Best in our plot one. So we are going to try for ourselves okay. and we'll see how it tastes. Mm. It's party time. Let's go party! It's a Japati party. Do you like Japati? I felt, I think I only ate it once in my life. Really? And it's, I made one. You made Japati? How you made Japati? It was, you know, in secondary school, there's this home economics lesson. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the teachers how to make chapati. Serious? Yeah, the one put the nan, eh, but, eh, not nan, eh, put the ghee. Oh, but this one, right, it's just, they just use wheat flour and water. So, and they don't use butter or ghee at all. So oh, it's right. very, like, you see, it's no butter. And it's very, yeah, it's dry kind. I but didn't it's know like, that's not dry, it's still fluffy though. Let's eat it plain. Eat it plain, right? You there's, yeah. no, there's no taste at all. Because they just use like plain wheat flour. Very fluffy. It's not too hard also. Very healthy. Eh? Yeah. So actually, they say chapati is um, the healthier version of a prata. But if you want a prata, but you know, sometimes prata comes with calories and cholesterol. Not very good for the heart. So this makes a very good alternative for a healthier choice. Mm. You actually just cook it on the griddle itself without any oil on top also, yeah, right? Yeah, there was no oil. Yeah. So it has this, a bit of the smoky taste. Because of the little okay. bit of chutness. Pen The chutness. Is it called pen No, it's chutness. Chutness. Here we are at Asmi restaurant. This is their second branch. Where's the first branch? The br first branch is at Norris Road. So the second branch it's along what's this road name? H Hasting Road. And uh, it's just behind the little India arcade. Behind the cup the cup place. And this place a lot, I think it's a lot cleaner because it's quite new. It's quite yeah, it's very clean. It's just there's a lot of pigeons here, so just be careful. To pair with the chapati, what do you pair? You usually pair your chapati with? Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter no, chicken. Down here, right, their signature is the mutton kima. Oh, yeah. I never tried before. This is the mutton kima. So it's actually minced mutton and a bit of peas and potato. Mm. Curry means mutton, peas and potato. They make it into a gravy. Hey, you know what you can do? You can open it up. Uh-huh. Oh, open up. Like, like a wrap. Like a pocket like that. Pocket. Mmm. Mmm. That is very muttony. Oh, the mutton taste is very strong. But it's not, yeah, I will try it like that. Mm. It's not the unpleasant strong mutton taste. I think it's because the spices mix very well with it. So they it sort of like cover off up the very a bit gamey taste of the mutton. It's very flavorful. Very flavorful, right? Mm. Do you not, eat the but peas? not not like the peas are not. No, nope, I avoided the peas. No, the peas are not nasty. They are not nasty also. They are quite nice. For real? Hmm. Yeah, here right. The uncle here every time clap their hands to what all to chase off all the pigeons. Quite just now, don't they? There were like four or five pigeons by like eating, eating. the biryani. Yeah. Eh, very smart lot. Eat the most expensive thing. The biryani here six dollars. Yeah, chicken biryani here six dollars. Oh. Anyway, to go with our um chapati, right? We also got like some vegetables. So in front, we this is the uh, carrots, lady's finger, and the long finger. Long finger. What's a long finger? Long, long. key. <laughs> long, long finger. <laughs> long finger. 
Long finger. <laughs> Long beans. Eat my finger. Because the vegetables, they are all like seasoned with a lot of spices also. Okay, Otherwise, I shall try like, the um, carrots. If you don't like the mutton kima, you can actually order, they have like um, the more generic um, dishes like butter chicken. Butter chicken? Yeah, they also have masala chicken, all those to go with your kima. Oh, I just pigeon just fly over. Yeah. What? <laughs> pigeon just fly over. But I would highly recommend you to try, at least give the kima a try. Because yes. this is their, like, their famous uh, right. dish. The flavour, the, the spices and the flavour of the dish of, of, of how they cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Because the carrots is just the sweetness of the carrots, then after that it's all the spices. But okay. if you try the you try lady's finger. Okay, try lady's finger. Yeah, I hate lady's finger. There is the taste of the lady's finger. I hate lady's finger, I don't and know why. Lady's finger go with spices very nice. Because if you don't really like the texture, right? It, yeah, they're just gooey texture. Yeah, I love it. Love. Can I tell the kima? Yes, more kima. Okay, but I have to say that it's a little bit oily. Is, yeah. this, is this a normal kind of I think it is. oiliness? Yeah. Really? You probably have to mix this it. This is my first time eating kima, by the way. I mean, I haven't really said it. You have to like constantly mix it up. Right? So that the chilli oil gets infused into the mm. mutton itself. And the nice thing is, there's generous chunks of mutton. It's not say like very minced there. Okay, now I'm going to try the biryani. Do you like biryani? I love biryani. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing What's I What's your eat. standard of biryani? Okay, I hate it when my biryani is filled with all the herbs. Like the cumin, the star anise. Oh, you like this one? You like I this. like cleaner biryani. I mean, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure they cook it together, but mm -hmm. they remove it. Yeah, but as in it's not on your plate itself. So yeah, some places oh. they, don't, they don't remove it. I'm this try. feels a bit more subtle, the spice taste. For the basmati rice, the spice mm. don't taste as strong. And very cute, you know, the uncle just now, he put the rice, then after that he put the gravy with mm. the chicken. Then it looks very nice to take photos and everything. Then later like he top it up with more rice. I cover the whole chicken. Cover the chicken. <laughs> I think it's to prevent the curry from turning cold. Right, from drying, the, prevent the chicken meat from drying out also. I think you can replace the, what I call that? Is it papadum? No, I still like papadum. Yeah, but they don't serve papadum, right? No, they don't have papadum here, but got um, a range of different, what do you call that, curry puffs available also. Curry puffs, samosa, popia, I think I saw popia. Mm, but the chicken is a bit like, towards the middle then, it's a bit tasteless already. Mm. Oh, but I think I can eat this rice alone eh. Really meh? Yeah. Okay, because, because it's not so super plain. Come here, let's order the biryani, the chicken biryani, chapati and the kima. If not, if they're alone right, I think like for a good meal, you can order two chapati and then together with maxima. That's mm. good enough for you. No, let me tell you how much. Five fifty. Mm. Because each chapati is only one dollar. Mm. Maxima is three fifty. So you just like order like that, and then you are set for the day. Really. So do you think this is the best chapati in Singapore? Yes. I've I've most chapati that I've had before is similar to this, but I like the fact that you know you can watch them do. Mm. Do it, and you know that it's fresh. Mm. Yeah, because some places you know they just serve, and then you don't know whether their chapati is like fresh or is like overnight or like whether it's factory made or what. Yeah. But here, when you are ordering, you Absolutely. can definitely see the chef, like you know, getting his hands dirty with all the flour and then like making the chapati on the griddle. So it's nice to see that it is freshly made. And do let us know where we can find the best chapati, best biryani. Yeah, we should go. Uh, <laughs> I actually said this just now that a bird might just fly past our camera and it did. It's, the video is not about chapati, it's about pigeons. Oh my god, it's giving me a lot of stress right now. This vlog will be full. Hey, very nice one. Right? Hey, chapati, you can interact with wildlife. This vlog will be filled with me. Dining in the Showing wow. my cowardness. Oh my god, I know the title. Dining in the wild. Party with pigeons. You know whenever a pigeon comes, then your hand must like that. Yeah. Why? It's like it's really a party, man. Put your hands up. Put, 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 put your hands. Up. What do you think about the food here? I don't have enough knowledge about chapati to so actually comment if this is the best chapati, but it's definitely a very nice. He finished it. 
it's, it's a very nice experience. <clears throat> Something different, right? Uh, I mean, it, it breaks my mentality where I get, where I actually assume, which I don't think is a good thing, I assume that uh, Indian food uh, is usually more on an unhealthy note. But this chapati just tells me that we can be healthy too. It's a very healthy um, staple mm. as compared to what we know like um, pratas. Sometimes done they use a lot of like butter on top also. Butter. But this one don't yeah. have yeah. Yeah, the ghee. What surprised me more was actually the, the mutton kima. Mutton kima. Yeah, mutton kima. Because I didn't expect like mutton to be able to come out to have this flavour. In my opinion, it's a, a lot stronger. Yeah. But they managed to like downplay the gaminess and the smell of mm. the mutton with the use of the spices together with the you see I'm trying to keep very calm here doing my ending <laughs> together with the potato and the peas but and they are scared of birds be careful don't scare don't scare just come be careful really. the bird's so small you are so big no the bird can why are you scared the bird I'm very scared don't scare of me like if you eat here right, it's best if you after that you clear your food and bring it back behind. If not all the birds will start. Yes, like, clear your food, clear your place, ah, guys. It's quite unhygienic. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we have come to the end of the party. Yeah, that's all for our eating out vlog today. So do we explore, you know, like Indian food, Malay food? So it's a good opportunity to introduce like you know, food of different heritage and culture to mm. all our viewers also. So let us know what other other interesting food or other interesting cuisines that you want us to feature. Okay. Then we will yeah. read all your comments, we read one, like he will yeah. read one. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do that and thank you for joining us at Eating Out. We'll see you the next time. Bye! <laughs>